I think they're just stalling it till after the election. And that means to me, they think if this information came out, it might hurt President Trump's chances of being reelected. We still don't know who got a majority of the money in the PPP loans. It's taxpayer money, so why the secrecy? NBC5 responds. In today's NBC5 response, a half a trillion dollar tussle over PPP loans, the Paycheck Protection Program. It was taxpayer money doled out to businesses across the country and intended as a lifeline. So why won't the Trump administration say which businesses got the money? Lisa Parker has our story. Even as the U.S. Justice Department has opened dozens of cases alleging fraud in the PPP program, another arm of the federal government refuses to say which businesses out here received the bulk of that money, all the loans under $150,000. A gambling spree on the Vegas Strip, two Lamborghinis, and at least one Rolls Royce, all now connected to federal criminal complaints filed against more than 50 people accused of forging documents in order to bilk the relief program intended for small businesses. PPP was rolled out amidst chaos and criticism this spring, which we heard. You know, the, the rich get richer. Nothing's ever changed with that. Over and over from Chicago area small businesses. Perhaps some fraud was inevitable, but months later, the American public remains in the dark over which small business has got the bulk of the more than $500 billion. Why? Where did that money go? Good question. The American Small Business League is among many plaintiffs, including NBC Universal, suing the Small Business Administration, SBA, to hand over those details. This information should be on the internet. You shouldn't have to go to federal court and spend, you know, thousands of dollars to see who got uh, PPP loans. In court filings, defendant SBA asserts privacy as a primary obstacle here, saying the agency withheld only confidential commercial information the disclosure of which would constitute a clearly unwarranted invasion of personal privacy, something ASBL's founder does not buy. I don't think the um, uh, SBA's justification of privacy holds water. When, they f when, when the people filled out the applications for the PPP loans, it says on that the information is going to be released. Of course, the administration did name some names, and that blew up in negative headlines. Large, well-funded companies that received big money PPP faced scrutiny, and some gave it back. At issue here, the much smaller incremental loans. So why won't the agency share those names with the media and watchdogs? The SBA reiterates this is about privacy and nothing less. ASBL's Chapman has a different theory. I think they're just stalling it till after the election. And that means to me they think if this information came out, it might hurt President Trump's chances of being reelected. So what comes next could be swift. The parties on both sides of the similar lawsuits have filed for summary judgment. If a judge is so inclined, the information here could be released later this month. Lisa Parker, NBC5, responds.